I went looking to buy a Tram TR50 lavalier microphone recently on eBay. As an industry standard mic, which I see a ton of around here in DC and broadcast kits, they're fairly common to find for sale used at a reasonable price. After seeing a number of listings though with no bias specified and asking multiple sellers for more info on their listings, it seemed that on the used market there's some genuine confusion and just plain lack of awareness to the voltage bias of these microphones, and it can greatly affect what you end up paying for them. Unfortunately, the one that I ended up purchasing, which was listed as like new, ended up being quite used, with a broken connection at the element that resulted in a dead short when it was moved around. Hey, check one, two, hey, 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 hey. The seller, though, was really responsive when I contacted him. Uh, he issued me a refund right away and told me not to even bother returning it. So I'm back to square one shopping for a lav. I'll be buying something new this time, I think. Uh, but with nothing better to do with this mic, I thought it would be worth making a quick video on how to determine the bias. If you're not familiar with voltage bias and what it has to do with these microphones, I'll link a great article from thebroadcastshop.com below, along with a couple other articles that give you all of the details. In short though, there is a small voltage required to power these microphones, and various wireless transmitter manufacturers over the years have supplied that voltage differently, either in a positive or a negative bias configuration. Tram makes this microphone in both versions to suit your needs. Now if you're working hardwired, you can go with either positive or negative bias, as long as the microphone and the power supply match. It's important to note though that if you plan to use phantom power to power your power supply, you'll want to get the positive bias as the negative bias TRC. 79 supply only works on the internal battery. If you're using a wireless transmitter, however, you'll need to get the correct bias for your specific brand and model of transmitter, as some are different and not all will work with both positive or negative mic elements. That's the quick overview, but needless to say, it's important to know what you need and what you're looking at when considering buying a microphone either new or secondhand. If you ever find yourself on a job with an unusual number of labs failing, uh, be sure to check that you've got your biases matched up correctly with your supply sources. Looking at the TR79 power supplies, you'll see that they're marked with a tiny plus symbol on the exterior to denote that it's a positive bias. No marking at all denotes negative. Alternatively, there's generally no way to tell what bias the microphone is wired for from the outside, unless it's been marked. While many of the mics made after 2005 will be marked with a small piece of red shrink wrap on the cable denoting a negative bias, if this is missing, you'll need to open up the connector and investigate further. This one is wired with a TA5F connector, and what we're looking for here is to see which wire is tied to the shield, and which is connected alone. You'll either see the red wire alone, and the black tied to the shield, which will mean it's a positive bias, or you'll see the red wire tied to shield, and the black on its own creating a negative bias. It really is that simple, and you can always rewire the microphones uh, for the connector and or bias that you need depending on your future use. Uh, if you can choose one bias for your kit and stick to it uh, across all your gear, that will avoid uh, mixing mixing things up and creating confusion down the road. Either way though, labeling the bias is a good idea and keeping an eye out for bias markings on lavalier and power supplies in the future will help you to avoid those kind of stomach turning moments when like half of the labs in your rental kit somehow don't work. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos and check out the website at dcsoundop.com for more content and resources.